yeah, I mean, I, I think that there's there's really something to be said about uh, you know the the way that that uh, you know that that decorum is um, you know is exalted, you know, and and in in relation to the way that like you know not to put too fine a point on this the uh, uh, you know like the the um, you know the Q shaman standing at the uh, at the, at the podium for you know like for a little while one afternoon you know is is sort of uh, you know treated as as a as an existential crisis uh, and um, you know whereas uh, you know just the uh, just the sort of day to day uh, you know day to day business of of killing and dismembering people you know is 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 not right or um, you mentioned Joe Biden as the obvious you know contrast point that you know that Biden um, you know Biden famously um, yeah I mean he he gave a eulogy at Strom Thurmond's funeral you know he he bragged about how he how collegial you know he he was able to uh, to be with uh, Southern segregationists. Uh, so, you know, a lot of ways, kind of the anti uh, Gravel, uh, which which came out, I think, in, in a really memorable way in uh, 2008, uh, when uh, they uh, they were both uh, sort of footnote also rans Gravel more than Biden, but both of them were footnote also rans in the uh, the race uh, for the uh, 2008 Democratic nomination. You're right. That's code for using nukes, nuclear devices. I gotta tell you, I'm president of the United States. There will be no preemptive wars with nuclear devices. In my mind, it's immoral, and it's been immoral for the last 50 years as part of American foreign policy. Let's use a little moderator discretion here. Senator Gravel, that's a weighty charge. Who on this stage exactly tonight uh, uh, worries you uh, so much? Well, I would say the top tier ones. They made statements. statements. Oh, oh Joe, I'll include you too. too. You, you have, have certain arrogance. You want to you want to tell the Iraqis how to run, run their country. country. I got to tell, tell you, you, we should just tell you get out. out. Just, just tell you get out. It's their country. They're asking us to leave, and we insist on staying there. And why not get out? What harm is it going to do? Oh, did you hear the statement? Well, my God, the soldiers will die in vain. The entire death of Vietnam died in vain. And, and they're, they're dying, dying in vain, vain right this very second. second. You, know you know what's worse than a soldier dying in vain? vain is it's more soldiers, soldiers dying in vain. vain. That's, That's what's, what's worse. worse. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so tell me about that uh, that run in uh, 2008. Well, I, I think Gravel, similar to his run in 2020 or you know, 2019, whatever you want to term it as, uh, he did not intend to win. He he. Uh, including in, in this most recent one, he, he he wanted to promote this idea he had of the, the legislature for the people. So it was sort of this this idea of, ha of having a separate uh, legislative chamber that would be um, basically for, for ordinary American citizens to be able to pass laws. Uh, and so he the way he told it anyway was someone said to him, hey, well, why don't you run for president? And then you can uh, talk about this idea uh, in, in, in public and in debates and the kind of thing. Um, what's kind of ironic is that I think in, in neither of his his runs did he really was that the thing that he was most well known for. Certainly in this uh, in this 2007 2008 run, uh, it was stuff like this uh, where it, I mean it's, it's startling at at the time. It's startling to watch now when when you're so used to watching prepackaged pre-rehearsed bullshit you know people the, the, these people just memorize these lines they memorize how to avoid telling the truth how to avoid saying what they really believe and and just sort of skirt the line of sort of fiction and 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 um and, and actual uh truth uh and uh gravel just you know with, with nothing to lose just came out there and, and basically just like, exposed the whole thing as a sham not just by by really going after the candidates but by 
you know, speaking his mind by actually saying what he believed, which is an incredible thing to hear in one of these stage managed productions. Um, and uh, what, what struck me, uh, you know, what continues continues to strike me as, as I watch that clip is how, uh, in in that debate, obviously Gravel is sort of considered the the kind of um, the kooky, crazy left wing candidate. Uh, right. You know, he, he's the he's how did this guy get on the stage? So the thing, he's the comic relief. The other candidates are kind of sniggering, and and the crowd kind of laughs partly out of seemingly out of shock and partly out of you know thinking that oh, this guy is a crazy person. Would you actually listen to what Gravel is saying and then what what the candidates? The, the, the mainline candidates, as he calls them, are saying, um, and this was people like, you know, not just Obama, but John Edwards and Hillary Clinton, they had all said a variation of that phrase that nothing was off the table uh, as regards to Iran, um, which as Gravel says, everyone knows what that means. It means right. that you will be willing to nuke the country uh, to stop it from getting one single nuclear weapon, you know, versus a country that has thousands. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, but in any case, um, uh, uh, what 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 we're meant to take away from this, you know, if you if you watch it from a sort of traditional Beltway perspective, is that Gravel is the crazy one, and these people are all the reasonable ones. But of course, if you actually listen to what he's saying, there's it's inescapable that the reality is that the sensible, well manicured, well put together, you know, ni nicely made up candidates that are all probably the one of them is going to end up the president. They are the crazy ones. They are calling for nuking a, a country of many millions of people, uh, a country that, that really does not uh, offer any sort of threat to the United States, at least in its domestic borders. Uh, yeah. they're, they're talking about, um, you know, they're either talking about not, not really withdrawing from the war or, you know, staying indefinitely. Uh, despite the fact that Iraqis themselves did not want them to be in the country anymore. And Gravel is saying, hey, it's crazy to mm -hmm. want to nuke a country, especially preemptively. And I'm yeah. not going to do that. And also, if these people want us out of their country, we, we invaded them illegally. We destroyed their country. We killed hundreds of thousands of them. We should get out of there. Uh, there's no reason for us to be there. And, and I can't think, maybe in 2007, but now watching... This debate, from the vantage point of, of 2020 or 2021, or even earlier, does would anyone watching that now, whether you're Democrat or Republican, would you watch that and think that that Mike Raval was was wrong there? I, I don't believe so. Right, absolutely not. You have been watching a free public preview for a patron exclusive episode of Give Them an Argument. Uh, to get the rest of this episode plus patron-exclusive episodes every single Thursday, as well as patron-exclusive post games after the regular show every Monday night, and a lot more, head over to patreon.com slash Ben Burgess. As a friend of mine used to put it, why be foolish?